Hello everyone. I was gonna do a cook today over uh, some fire on my fire pit with the grate. So I'm gonna show you. I have a steak here, which is a uh, USDA choice uh, New York strip steak, and I'm just going to season it with some salt and some pepper. And let it sit a little bit. There is a little more ratio of salt than there is pepper on this. So I'm gonna keep it super simple. There you go. Salt and pepper, time bit more pepper than or salt than pepper. And uh, we're gonna get this covered up with some ceram wrap and let's sit. And then next we're gonna go prep the fire. We got this fire pit with a grill grate. And it's the first time I'm gonna use it today. I have not used it yet. I got some fire going. What I did was I put some lighter fluid, some newspaper and some matches. And I have a mixture of oak and cherry wood in here. I'm gonna try and burn all this down to some coals so I can get some a nice bed to cook the steak on. All right, we're here. We have let my New York strip sit for about an hour um, with the salt and pepper on it. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to go throw it over the coals outside. As you can see out here, my coals have really burned down. Uh, you can see, this is what I have left from the big stack of fire I had before. So I'm gonna swing this grate out and uh, put it, the steak right over the coals right there. Over the coals here, I'm cooking with a mix of uh, oak and cherry wood that I've burnt down in my pit, my fire pit here. And um, what I did was, about an hour ago, I made a large fire, uh, lit it up with some lighter fluid, burn it really hot, let it burn down the coals, and then I set this grill grate up, and I got to the point here where I can hold my hand here for about two and a half, three seconds at grate level, and then I know it's good to cook the steak over. So there's still a flame burning on that big hunk of wood right there, and um, the steak is over it. I'd say the steak is probably like, I don't know, a foot over the fire. Um, I set the grate up ahead of time at the level I thought would be good. Um, you might want to lower it a little bit, but this is super hot right now, so I'm gonna leave it where it is. If I need to, I'll get the fire going a little more. But the idea is to try and let the coals do the cooking at this point. So we're gonna keep cooking this right over the coals that we have, and uh, we'll check back in. So here we are, I've taken the steak off of the fire. I'm gonna let it rest now uh, for about five minutes, and then I'll cut into it, and then we'll get a look at how it looks. Um, you can see here, there's a good fat ring on the side, so hopefully it's nice and juicy. Um, a lot of salt and pepper. I pulled it at about 152 degrees. I usually like my steak medium. Um, the one side is a little less and the one side is towards the higher point, 150 degrees. So hopefully that results in some nice medium steak when I cut into it. Um, we'll check back after it rests. So here we are, we have let the steak rest now for five minutes and uh, you can see how done it is, and we're gonna give a little taste test here in a second. So here I am. I just bit into my steak. Let me check it out. Hmm. So good. Um, a lot of smoky flavor to it. Not too much. Cooking over the coals instead of a fire for most of the time took a lot of that extra smoke away. If it was a, if I was smoking this, 
Like if this was a smoked um, ribs or, or pork butter or something, it'd be a lot more smoky flavor. But really, it's a hint of smoke with a lot of the salt and pepper coming through and a natural beefiness of the steak. So I highly recommend try cooking over some open coals. Uh, give it a shot and, um, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you make some videos or you have some recipes. Peace out.